There is no victory without a fight. And just because you and I are born again, doesn't mean that we have the victory automatically. The Bible says, he that overcomes shall have the crown of victory. So without a fight, without a fight, you can never have the victory. And I want to assure you that if you commit to one of the The Lord, on behalf of His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, I welcome you to the One Million Strong 100 Days of Intensified Prayer Challenge. This is a platform that God has allowed the Archbishop to bring on board to help us all to experience God's miraculous power, for us to have testimonies in this life. I'm sure you have prayed and God has visited you. If today is your very first time, this is where divinity meets humanity, where God shows his power, his love to his children who trust in him. So I want you to invite your friends, your loved ones, everybody to be part of this intensified time of prayer where a lot of miracles are happening. And I assure you, even as you make time to join us today, God is going to do an awesome thing in your life. If you believe, shout amen wherever you are. And I also want you to enroll in the new Nicholas Duncan William School of Ministry online courses. Special 50% discount for the first 100 people to book onto the Global Strategic Prayer course. Secure your seat now. The link is there the NDW link. God will visit you. God will empower you. God will promote you. And great things have been happening all over the world and we have great testimonies. And I read one from Jeshiva. And this is her testimony. He says, since I started praying with 100 days of global prayer, so many wonderful blessings have come into my life to change it for the good. Prayer is now a daily necessity for me. I've been experiencing unexplainable financial breakthroughs. Even in my marriage, things are turning around. I'm no longer depressed and I'm at peace with myself. My health has improved with the lowering of my blood pressure and my diabetes has also reduced. Today, I must say God is awesome, I am overjoyed, and pleased more than ever before. God has done unexplainable miracles through the power of strategic prayer. Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, I am grateful to you and the NDW Ministries family. May the Holy Spirit continue to dwell with you. Thank you, God bless you. This is our sister's or brother's testimony. You are next in line for that miracle. God richly bless you as you make time to join us. You also have a great testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray. We have a prayer request from South Africa from Lucindizo. He said, I would like the saints of the One Million Strong Prayer community to pray with me for a breakthrough in the area of employment. I'm a qualified school teacher and I believe God for the supply of a teaching job, increased development of my spiritual life, my faith not to fail, my prayer life to be restored, to fulfill my assignment in life and financial breakthrough. Wherever you are in South Africa, we extend the grace of God unto you. We declare an open door for you. May you have the prayer answered right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is an open door for you. May you receive your testimony 
Our brother Chris is also saying that pray for miraculous favor in my business to expand internationally and make stronger connection in places of influence. May it be granted unto you, brother Chris, divine alignment with my call in ministry. May you, may the grace of God fall upon you. Let the anointing, the spirit of the Lord come strong upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and for my helpers from the four corners of the world to support me, achieve my destiny and grace. I release your divine helpers unto you. Receive them. May they appear unto you like the, the wise men that appeared, yes, on Jesus' birthday in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, pray for a wall of fire to surround my life and legacy and protection from my enemies and those that seek to block God's purpose and me from achieving my highest potential and dynasty and legacy. I pray for you for God's protection. We dip you in the blood of Jesus Christ, and I declare that it is well with your soul. You shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Just say a big amen, and the Lord is with you for great, 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 great things happening in your life today. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, Bible says, we are in the flesh, but we war not against the flesh, but against principalities and spiritual forces of wickedness. So the spiritual realm is such a place where wicked people will do things without you seeing with your physical eye. So you need the grace of God. You need the protection of God. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it, and they are saved. And the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you can die anyhow. But God has granted you the opportunity today, if you don't know him, to accept him, for you to be protected in Christ. But if you know him, I just want to assure you based on the word of God that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Every child of God must be battle ready. Are you ready? And that is why through the Archbishop, God has provided this platform for you to be battle ready at all times so you can engage and overcome and be on top at all costs in the name of Jesus Christ. And there are all sorts of spiritual attacks on everybody who names the name of the Lord. But the Bible declares that the name of the Lord is a strong tower the name of the Lord. So you must call upon that name to be protected. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you know these arrows of death will come, arrows of affliction, arrows of confusion, arrows of amusement, and I believe you can identify with either one or two of them or all, but every arrow it's a dart, it's a weapon that the enemy fashions against the child of God so that they will not have peace and comfort to enjoy the blessings of Jehovah. But God assures you of protection and the Lord will protect you and deliver you and shield you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the book of Genesis chapter 49 from verse 23-24, he said the Achaeans have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him, but his bow abode in strength. His bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the Almighty God of Jacob. And from thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. It is only God that can protect you, and I just want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for your life. Begin to thank God for your life. Bless God for your life, for that of your family, the nations, and our leaders. Begin to thank God and bless him in the name of Jesus. Our God is so good. He's so good. He loves you. He loves you. And therefore, he will protect you. No weapon, no weapon whatsoever. Fashion against you shall prosper. Bible says, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart 
and their bowels shall be broken. This is the promise of God, according to Psalm 37, 14, and 15, that whatever they have fashioned is going back to them. Anybody who wishes you dead, anybody that wants to destroy you, whatever shame, whatever defeat, whatever weapon they have fashioned, uh, whatever that they have thrown at you, it is going back to them. And I want you to begin to clap your hands. I want you to begin to pray that whatever bow they have fashioned, whatever sword they have drawn, should pierce their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ and not you. Whatever that, that is directed at you, whatever bow that is directed at you shall not come near you for it is written no weapon no weapon no weapon fashion against you shall prosper in the name of jesus christ you pray that you will take refuge in the lord you will take refuge in the lord take refuge in the lord call upon the name of the lord say the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run it into it and they are saved and therefore your safety can only come from the Lord as you are praying, as you are calling upon the name of the Lord, you ask the Lord to deliver you from the wickedness of the wicked, let it come to an end, every wickedness of the wicked, every plot every assignment of the evil one against you, your family, your loved ones, anything that concerns you, your business your education, your business everything you are praying for God's protection you are praying for God's power you are praying for God's glory to envelop you so that you will be free from every negative that of the enemy you dip yourself in the blood of Jesus Christ and the Lord having mercy on you right now the mercy of God is protecting you from every assignment of the enemy and you want to declare that you shall not die, but you will live to declare the works of the law. The power of the Lord is protecting you wherever you are. The name of the Lord is with you. Ah, the name of the Lord is that strong tower. You are running into it by your prayer as you are calling upon the name of the Lord. You are in your hospital bed. The signs of death is coming to you. The spirit of death is close to you. I want to pray that you shall not die but you will live to declare the works of the law. You just want to confess life that Jesus Christ came that you might have life and have it more abundantly and therefore death is not part of the covenant. He said every covenant with death is disannulled. It is abolished in the name of Jesus Christ. So you on your hospital bed, your loved one on the hospital bed, we are praying right now that that angel of death that is sent to them will disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Bible says you will take refuge in the Lord. You will take refuge in the law. Yeah, as a bear escapes, as a bear escapes the snare of the father, so your bear, your soul shall escape. Ah, the snare of the father in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trap that they have set for you, you will not fall into it. For he says, I will lead you by the still waters, the presence of the Lord with you, the grace of the Lord with you right now, you call upon the name of the law that God let my soul escape as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. You are escaping right now. Your loved one is escaping right now. Your mother, your father, your child is escaping as a bird out of the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus Christ. God is with you and therefore you shall not die. You shall not die. Every sword that is drawn, yes, to destroy you, the grace of God, the mercy of Jehovah, say in the name of Jesus Christ, I am born of God, and whosoever is born of God overcomes this world, and every arrow in this world, every 
sword in this world is broken into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ because I am hidden in Christ and no weapon therefore fashion against me shall prosper. Call upon the name of the Lord. Ah, that the sword of the enemy yes, will be turned back to the person that is drawing it, to the company drawing it in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is preserving you. You are scared of this month that you will not see the end of this month. I prophesy unto you. I declare the word of the Lord unto you that you shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. I just want to you to see yourself off that hospital bed right now. Ah, I speak for life unto you. As I speak unto you, receive the healing of the Lord. Receive the power of the Lord. Yes, that yoke is broken. That yoke of the enemy is broken because of the anointing. Yes, that yoke of sickness. That yoke of death. That yoke of slavery. That thing to bring discomfort into your life shall not hold. It shall not stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I want you to pray in the spirit. If you pray in the spirit, wherever you find yourself, call upon the name of the Lord. That the Lord will deliver you. The Lord will deliver you from your fear. The Lord will deliver your household in the name of Jesus. Every household wickedness that is employed against you and your family, it shall boomerang, it shall not start, it shall not ah, take place in the name of Jesus Christ. As Moses lifted his hands on that mountain, God gave victory to Israel. As you lift up your hands, your enemies are coming down wherever they are in your office, in your workplace, in your home, in your family, with your hands lifted. God is giving you victory. God is protecting you in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that the Lord is protecting you and therefore uh, their counsel shall not stand. Their wickedness against you shall not stand. They've sold you spiritually uh, to be slaughtered. They've turned you into a goat, into a cow, whatever animal. They have turned you into to slaughter you. We declare that the Spirit of God does not allow and permit it and therefore you are your original self and therefore you shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare the power of God is upon you. The anointing of God is protecting you. The mercy of God is delivering you in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to pray for as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth. You want to declare that you will see the end of this year. You will not die. You will enter into the next year with greatness, with hope in the name of Jesus Christ. God is with you. The power of God, the angels of God are deployed on your behalf. The assignment of God, yes, is to protect you. The angels of the Lord are on your side. They are protecting you and therefore you shall not die. Declare you shall not die. Every arrow, every dart that is sent unto you, that is fashioned against you according to Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no matter how it comes, wherever it comes, the ah, Bible says, it shall not, ah, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. It shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. Declare that every arrow, every sword that is pointed at you, it shall not prosper against you. And therefore, you are not dying. You are living in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to prophesy to yourself. Declare unto yourself that you shall surely see the end of this year. You shall enter into the next year and continue to live because the spirit of life is available unto you for the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwelleth in you and therefore it shall quicken your mortal body. I don't care what you feel in your body right now. One day you engage the spirit of God, the power of God. God is doing a new thing with your life. Your life is coming together. Your strength is coming together. Your life is coming together in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to do that which you couldn't do. Rise up from your death, a bed 
right now and begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can shout upon the name of the Lord like blind Bartimaeus, when he heard that Jesus Christ was passing, he shouted, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. You see, the mercy of God will negate every negative weapon of the enemy of your life. Ah, in the name of Jesus, the mercy of God is extended unto you. Receive that mercy. Receive that grace. Receive that power. Receive the ability of God to protect you from ah, your enemies. Every conspiracy in the realms of the spirit against you. Anyone that desires you dead. Oh, like Haman. Ah, they shall die. Anyone that has set up a gallow to hang you. Yes, they shall go on it instead of you. And therefore call upon the name of the Lord for deliverance and salvation is of the Lord. The Lord is with you. Ah, as a strong tower, as a refuge for you and for your soul and for your loved ones. And I want you to declare that I shall not die. Nobody close to me shall die. My children, my parents, my loved ones are all protected by the blood and by the power of Elohim. In the name of Jesus Christ, you want to declare that El Shaddai is protecting you. You are ending this year very well. You shall not end with sickness. You shall not end with any disaster in your health, in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not end the year crying. Every form of crying, yes, Lord, is aborted in the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 91, verse 4 to 8, the Bible says, He shall cover thee with his feathers. May the Lord cover you with his feather, and under his wings thou shalt trust. Yes, his truth shall be that shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Your life shall not be wasted. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right, and it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. As you pray, you will see the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. A thousand will fall, ten thousand will fall. You only see with your eyes, and this is the word of the Lord unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the secret place is where you dwell. He who dwells in the secret place place of the almighty God. The Bible says shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Yes, and where you are under the shadow of the almighty, no weapon, no weapon, no dart, no arrow, fashion against you shall prosper. The grace of God is abiding to your cause. The mercy of God is released unto you. Right now, as you are traveling, you are like, you are calling on the name of the Lord like the blind Bartimaeus. Whatever you would do to encounter God, you see when, yes Lord, pray, pray, pray. Pray if you speak in tongues, just pray in tongues for a while. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, when Zacchaeus also heard that Jesus Christ was passing, he climbed onto the tree. Right now, that sycamore tree is your prayer closet right now. As you are kneeling down, the mercy of God is being extended unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ and therefore I want you to take charge of your life by making these declarations after me wherever you are God's grace God's abundance is with you say let anyone Cursing me on a west, or a where be silent, and let it be turned into a blessing. Every curse be turned into a blessing in the name of Jesus. Let the effects of word curses, evil words, and evil wishes be reversed and destroyed. Every evil curse, every evil wish is reversed back unto whoever made it in the name of Jesus. You want to declare that I cancel and revoke all wet curses and strange arrows set against my life. Let it go back to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, reverse the curse and every spirit of untimely death. Say, I reverse the curse and the spirit of untimely death in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I will not die but live to declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Declare, I reverse the curse. I release the blessings 
of God over my life, my generations, my nation. I release the blessing of the Lord. Bible said the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. And therefore the blessing has taken charge and curse is removed in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, let any inward curse, evil wish or ill will in the hearts and minds of women and men against me be disappointed. Let the opposite occur. Let the opposite occur. We declare it shall not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ is protecting you against untimely death and as you have prophesied, you shall not die. Just make that declaration as you are praying, as you are lifting up the name of the Lord, that protection is with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of his eminence, I pronounce life unto you and I declare you are going to live and not die. You will surely see the end of this year. You enter next year greatly. You shall enter with supernatural blessings and abundance in your way. God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You will dwell in the house of the Lord and therefore the enemy shall not exact upon you. I declare it is well with you. The glory of the Lord is preserving you. The mercy of Jehovah is preserving you. Ah, God's goodness and mercy. You will flourish in your old age like the palm tree. God loves you. Live and not die. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Do you need to break free from negative life cycles that keep repeating themselves in your relationships and families? Stagnations and limitations in your career, spiritual life or finances? Do you need to break free from spiritual attacks, setbacks and feelings of oppression? God wants you to break loose and run free with the Nicholas Duncan Williams School of Ministry Binding the Strong Man course. This 100% online course will equip you to identify the negative strongman or force working in your situation. Give illumination to the Word of God and bring spiritual understanding to the evil limitations in your life. Reveal prayer strategies to deal with the strongman in every area of your life effectively. With the NDW School of Ministry, you'll benefit from exclusive impartational video teachings by the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, ministering specifically on strongholds, biblical audio lessons, resource workbooks, flexible study options to study anytime, anywhere. Get started today. Visit us online at ndwministries.org. Get equipped, get empowered now.